Good morning, friends. I hope you have tried to solve the problem on your own. In this video, we will we will go together and solve this. So let's to revise that what was the uh, problem statement that we have to count the unique English words from the given file, and we have to ignore the numbers, punctuations, space, tabs, etc. The new line characters and the words that we are counting that should be a case insensitive. So. For example, I mean, we can uh, just for the top ten words, not top ten words, but just random ten words, that it would be, uh, for example, someone would be appearing like five times, full will be appearing for fourteen times, like like that, and uh, we will be using this Magna Carta file that we discussed. Okay, so I already have got this IntelliJ open, and I have write a very basic uh, initial uh, snippet of unit test case. So what we are doing is, we are Setting our Spark configuration, Spark Conf object, by setting the app name as this test uh, class, and setting the master as local star, which means that our uh, whatever the number of CPU cores I have in my laptop, it would be taking all of the four of them to create the driver and the master nodes. And then finally, we create our sp uh, our Spark context here from the config that we have created, and finally, we are using this test file path as Magna Carta .txt because I already saved the, uh, the whole file in a zip format in my resources folder. So this is where, and we can make create a similar type of method where we can just pass pass this file name, any file name that we want, to have this functionality to count the unique words here. So this was the very initial step. Let now let's start writing this. So again, just to revise that we have to count the number of words. So first of all, let's create the Java RDD. So for this, we can use the Spark context and use text file and give this our file location string. So we have got our Java RDD here. Now I will do a mapping. So for mapping, first of all, because we have to only include the words, the words means which starts with like the, all those English words, uh, which are like from A to Z small or upper because it's case uh, case insensitive and we have to ignore any numbers punctuations etc so let's do this filtering here so i will do the map and whatever line that i'm getting here i will replace all replace all and the replace all method i will use a regex here and in this regex, I will ignore anything which is not a word. So for that, just follow along with me. I will use this regex here as like this. Uh, I'll start with anything which is not any English letter starting with this or with the, with the caps. And I will also ignore anything which is this. This actually indicates whether it's a new line or a space or a tab, whatever. So it will, all those white spaces are like ignored here. So anything which is not this, it should be replaced this, replaced with. So we are just marking it as blank. I mean, we are just replacing everything which is not this. And then finally we will, because this is case insensitive. So I will mark it as lowercase to lowercase so everything which is left should be lowercase put one extra brackets here not fine then we will do a flat map here in the flat map we are going to uh, split for all the all the words should be split by a white space because so that we can get each and every word that we have in our file line and then I will do a list of line dot split again in the split I will use this regex so based on all those words we are going to split and then finally I will use an iterator here So once we have got all these iterators, I think I'll miss this one bracket here as well. Okay. 
No, that's correct. So first line is like replacing all those uh, which are not actually a word for strings and any space. We put it to as a lower case. So it means that we are only taking all those uh, words uh, which are which are present in the file and uh, mark it as to, to lower to make it case insensitive. And then finally, we we'll use flat map in which we are going to iterate through uh, all the words which are there, which are split uh, split by a uh, white space again. Once we have this. Now we can filter. Okay, we held a filter and in the filter, now we can actually do uh, some trimming because we want the word should be uh, not null. We have to remove all the nulls and then we have to also the trim the length should be greater than zero. It should not be any like blank space or anything left. So here it's, it's quite simple then. Uh, filtering is just returning a boolean value. So I will be using word not equal to null. First thing. And if word is not equal to null, then and word dot trim. It's not any blank space or just spaces there. So it will take care of this. After trimming, it should be greater than zero, which is actually a word. Then finally, we close this. extra okay just be aware of this extra brackets here okay now let's store this into uh, these are the filtered words so i will do control alt v and say i will say filtered words okay and let's better to, always better to mark it as final okay so let's revise what we have done so what we have done is that we are creating the first of all here it gives me a java spark already maybe let me put it here okay that's better okay so we have got this already here once we pass this file the first thing is that we are trying to like put all the words in the file to be lowercase because we want the uh, as per our requirement it should be case insensitive okay so that's why we are putting lowercase everybody is going to be lowercase and then we'll count it but before that, we are mapping it. By mapping, we are just replacing. First of all, we discard everything which is other than a word. And whatever is anything other than word or anything which is banks place, we don't want that. We only want the words there. Uh, and then after filtering this, we are able to get only the words back and then put it as a lowercase. After that, we use flat map in which we are iterating through all the words which are separated by a white space. And then we from after this, we'll get the filter map, the, sorry, the filter where we are ignoring all the words which are null or which are blank spaces. So after this, we'll get the count of all those, all those like filtered words after doing also. So finally, this Java already string filtered words that would be containing all the English words, uh, which are, and every, every, all the words are in, in the lower case and there is no punctuation, no number, nothing else. It's only just the plain words. So this is what filter words will be getting after doing all these transformations. Now, since we have got all our filter words, so our first data cleansing part is done by using this. Now let's count that how many words are there for each of them.